Hi guys, I hope you're doing great today. Now, if you've never watched my videos before and you haven't checked out my channel, my name is Valerine and I do home and gardens, video lessons, DIYs, calculations, like I will be doing in this lesson today. Please check out the channel and consider subscribing before you leave. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos. Now let's get started. So the first thing that you will need to decide are some measurements right for your tails how far in do you want your tail to sit on your window from where it starts so that's your first measurement there for this calculation we will do 10 inches another measurement you will need to decide which I actually dealt with in a previous video when we looked at some general rules or guidelines for making swags and jabos. That is the length of your tail. In the video that um, I did previously, I told you that the general rule is that your tail should not sit further down on your window than two-thirds of the height of the window. Let's pretend this window is 60 inches high. Two-thirds of 60 inches is 40 inches. So our tail will be 40 inches. Another measurement you can't forget is your return so pretend this is your mounting board that you will be mounting your tails and swags on your mounting board will have that return that is the part that goes back to the wall it's the depth right of your mounting board so your return on your mounting board can be anywhere from four inches. It's all up to you. It depends on what you will have sitting under your swags and tails. And when I say what you'll have sitting under, it means like if you will have like layered treatments, like you will have shares in front of, have um, behind um heavy draperies or you will just have the heavy draperies it all depends on the look you're going for and the treatments that you're installing on that window for our purpose here hmm, i should write this the width of the tail in red 10 inches and then your return the part that goes back to the wall let's make that four inches your tail will not be flat your tail will have pleats the general guideline to get your pleats is in order to know how much fabric you need for this 10 inches run you will multiply the 10 inches by three three times 10 that's 30 inches but we're not done we have to add our return so that's four inches that's 34 inches also we need to add incremental measurements for our seams and usually half an inch on either side is fine so let's put an inch for the seam on both sides so that's 35 inches so we'll need 35 inches of fabric for one tail the width of one tail 
and the core fabric comes in 54 to 60 inches wide widths sometimes you may even get double width which is 118 inches so we know then that one width one width of fabric is sufficient for the width of this tail now we have dealt with the width let's move on to the length of the tail he said that our two-thirds is 40 inches however we also need extra fabric to wrap over on top of the mounting board therefore let's give ourselves our depth for the return is four inches so let's give ourselves an extra four inches of fabric so it's 40 plus four inches that's 44 inches because we've already added the four inches for the wrap over on top of the mounting board we don't have to concern ourselves too much with any incremental measurement for the seam right so let's move on and see how much fabric we will need to make two tails this calculation is for one tail so if we need 44 inches for the length of one tail for two we will multiply that by two two fours are eight two fours are eight we will need 88 inches in order to find out how many yards we will need we divide that 88 inches by 36 now let's do some long division okay so there we go 88 36 two times and two sixes are 12 two threes are six and one seven 72 so that's six seven that's 16 remaining point and because we put the point here we have to add the zero so now it's 36 into 160 four sixes are 24 four carry the two four threes are 12 and two 14 144 four from 10 six four from five one so we'll end up with 160 again so now we know that it's 2.4 four yards of fabric so we will need 2.44 yards of fabric however when we're doing projects like these we round up we never round down because we don't want to run short on fabric so we round up and if we round up here we go to 2.5 yards of fabric so we will need 2.5 yards of 54 inches fabric to make well the fact is the width that we need is 35 inches so if you can get fabric that you like with a measurement like this right you'll have to um, put your measurements in and do the calculations but with a measurement like this because the width is 35 inches you could actually get away with a fabric that's 36 inches wide if you see something that you really like otherwise we need 2.5 yards of 
54 inches wide fabric to make our two tails. In today's lesson, we will look at calculating how much fabric you will need for your swags. The first thing you need to decide on is the measurement for your finished swag. You'll need to decide how wide your swag is going to be and how deep your swag is going to be. I have a window, well, a box on my whiteboard that represents a window that's 60 inches high and 60 inches wide. We will use this in our calculation. I am going to decide to use three swags on this window. So what I'll do is do a swag that starts at one side to the middle and then from the middle to the other side. Does that look like the middle? No, not really. It doesn't look like the middle. So let's try to middle it a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I think that's more like it. Then we will mount another swag number three on top, which means that it will come from the middle overlap from the middle of the one swag over here to the middle of the other swag now there are a myriad of styles that you could use but this is just for calculation sake how wide would one of these swags be well if we're going from the end to the middle here and the window is 60 inches wide it means then that the one swag here will be 30 inches the other one would be 30 inches and also the one that we put to overlap at the center would be 30 inches the next thing you need to consider for your finished swag is the depth the depth of your swag will be from the top here to where it stops Now, in a previous video, when I gave you some general guidelines for making swags and tails, we mentioned that the swag should not sit further than one sixth of the height of your window. So if the swag sits in one sixth of this window, that's 60 inches high, this depth will be 10 inches so we have a finished swag that is 30 inches wide by 10 inches deep those are the two important measurements that you need to consider to begin your calculation. The width of your swag and the depth of your swag. So now we have these numbers. Let's move on to calculating how much fabric I would need for these three swags. So our next step is to look at our cut swag and we will start with the width the width is 30 inches we will need to add one inch for seam allowance so let's add one inch so we have 31 inches the next thing that we need to do is add um, inches for draping now it could be anywhere from four inches to ten inches or even more depending on the look that you're going for and that your your overall design right but for calculation sake here I will just add eight inches and that is for draping 
because your tails you pleat your tails and you drape your swags so this eight inches is for draping and that equals 39 inches so the overall fabric width is 39 inches we know that fabric widths for decor comes in 54 even 60 inches even double widths 118 inches wide right so if that's the width for your swag is 39 inches then one width of the core fabric will cover one swag no doubt about that so let's move on now to the depth the depth of your swag by the way i should mention that in some instances this across here you will see referred to as length However, I like to stick to width because it's going across. And yes, you can have length that goes across, but I like to stick to width just to avoid the confusion, okay? So just a side note there. So the depth of our swag will be taken from the length of the fabric up and down. To begin with, the depth of our finished swag is 10 inches then we have to add one inch for seam allowance that's 11 inches then we have to add inches to mount the swag on our mounting board so the swag has to drape over the mountain board and hang in front of it now in the calculations for tails i use a depth of mountain board that was four inches so let's stick with the same depth for the swags so we'll add four inches to this that doesn't look like a plus doesn't it look like a seven we'll add four inches to this 11 inches and that's going to be 15 inches so we will need 15 inches of fabric for one swag if you should draw something it would be like this the piece of fabric that we need for one swag is 15 inches by 39 inches but in this design we are using three swags so we'll go ahead and multiply 15 inches by three let's do some long multiplication so that's 15 by three three fives or 15 we carry the one three three ones are three and one four that's 45 inches we will need 45 inches of fabric to make our three swags but we don't buy fabric in inches we go in the store and we ask for yards so to find out how many yards of fabric we will need we divide 45 by 36 because they're 36 inches in a yard so that's gonna be 136 that's nine we have a point here so we have to add the zero here and we have two two six is twelve two three seventy two a one a a and so we we're gonna need like um, 1.2 yards of fabric so we never round down we round up so in order to make over three swags we need 1.5 yards 
of fabric and for insurance you could even buy two yards and eh? you can use the extras to make cushions to coordinate with your window treatments that's how you calculate how much fabric you need for your swags guys if there's anything you don't understand just comment below ask a question i'm more than happy to answer your questions thank you so much for watching for subscribing and if you know somebody who can use any of the videos that i post on the channel any of these lessons please share with them thank you so much i appreciate you immensely and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you will be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next lesson by the way you will need the same amount of fabric for lining your swags cheers